Do you know Tyson's next fight? I've heard some talk about Dillian White. I've got a problem giving them paydays because they're not nice people. You know, they've got nothing good to say about Tyson, so why am I come rich? I'd rather piss on the belt. And Eddie Hearn would be so jealous of Tyson. But Eddie Hearn now is showing me the man I thought he always was, a spoiled kid. Before we dive in, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Do you know where, uh, who's Tyson's next opponent is, Tyson's next fight? I don't, to be honest with you. I've heard some talk about Dillian White. <coughs> but Dillian White should honour his contract with Otto Wallin. He's had a deal with a man. He shook his hand, he signed a contract, fight him. Tyson was forced to fight Deontay Wilder three times. He should be made forced to fight Wallin, honour his engagement, then fight Tyson, and let Tyson fight somebody else. You know, the only problem with these guys, me, I'll be honest with you, is giving people who dislike you and hate you a payday. That's how it's got me these days, because those people haven't got one good word to say about Tyson, yet they want to get rich off Tyson. Now, we all know in my mind's eye now, I know boxing inside out, that this injury, if there was an injury, alleged injury, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Say he is injured. Give him a few, we can reschedule. You know, if he's not confident to beat Otto Wallen, which that's why he's not fighting him, how's he going to beat Tyson? But I've got a problem giving them paydays because they're not nice people. They've got nothing good to say about us. You know, they've got nothing good to say about Tyson, so why make them rich? I'd rather piss on the belt and chuck it in the bin and make people like that rich. Mm. That's the truth of the matter. Nice people, sporting men, proper men, you'd want them to have the fight and get on. But them kind of men, no. Mm. No. I don't respect them as men anymore because little things they do put you off them. You know, and if you can't admire a man's greatness instead of making excuses why he's great, I'm looking for the bad in people instead of the good. Are they worth making millionaires out of? I say not. Mm. And that's what greats me, to be honest. Mm. If I had my way to get nothing off me unless it was nice, that'd have been nice to me and say good things and honour me as a champion I am and respect me for the champion I am or they get nothing out of me. Mm. I won't give it to them. I see I go and I chuck the belt in the bin, go and box him down there for a quarter of the money. You barra. You know, but Tyson, can they afford him? I say not. So let's just see. Because mm. Tyson's prices are high these days, mm. and well they should be. And can they put it together? No. And Eddie Hearn at the minute, no disrespect to him, but, you know, he's so jealous of Tyson. I watch some of his interviews and I can just see the jealousy he's now of him. Why do you think that is? Well, because he's no longer... The, he's no longer thought of as a number one guy anymore, is he? he thought he had everything in AJ. He's not got AJ no more, you know, because he's a, he's a tarnished product now, even though I think he can come back and win his titles back. But Eddie Hearn now is showing me the man I thought he always was. Which is? A spoiled kid. He's jealous of everybody else. People like you to do well in life, but not as well as them. Always remember that. Mm. They like you to do well, but not as well as them. But Tyson's gone to another level. He's out of orbit. He's out of the reach of all these men. And they don't like that. It irritates them. And they can't sleep at night over it. Because mm. it's that green-eyed monster again. Because mm. they wish they was in that position. But you know what? God will never give them the opportunities and the longevity in the job that they, they deserve through the way they are. Things will always go wrong for a man who's jealous of other people. At some point, they'll hit a nosedive. And that's why Tyson keeps winning. He's on and up and he's, up and, uh, he's on an eye every time. Because have you ever heard Tyson say, disrespect anybody, any member of the boxers or his ability? No, you won't do. He gives everybody utmost credit. Utmost credit, he gives them all. If they have a good performance, he says it. You know, he never looks at the worst in the man's performance. He'll look at the good stuff in it and tell the good stuff and leave the bad stuff. But they only want to talk about the bad stuff in everything Tyson does. So I'm irritated and bothered about giving them a payday. And I've had my way, they won't get nothing. Even though it's not to do with me. Tyson thinks I'm an idiot like the rest of my sons, but uh, <laughs> I'm no fool, believe yeah. me. I forgot more than most of them know. Mm. Forgot about, I forgot more than they know, most of them today, especially in the boxing game. But I could put those kind of people so does having nightmares every night because they're thinking, hang on, if I he was in charge, my God, how would you get around this man? I want to get the most money out of them possible because I know they don't like parting with it and I want to make it as awkward as possible for them because they're not nice folk, are they? 
nice people get the last they had to, I'd help. Mm. From the bottom of my heart. You know these kind of people live for money and possessions. And oh look at me and this new word they come out with. Is it kudos? <laughs> kudos. Every time I hear it, I feel like, well, low in the top. It's all about kudos. I wouldn't want to give him any kudos. I want the left hook under the jaw if I get away with it. <laughs> that's what they deserve, not kudos. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, if you like this, we have a full deep interview, the uncut, unedited version. So if you want to watch that, the link is below. But first, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel.